We are continuing. Look who doesn't sit. See what I'm saying? This is what I deal with, people. Just saying to you. All right, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, we go with our next presentation, which, as you can see, is the, is the team tablet team, team tablet tablet team, TT, um, is going to be presenting. And so without further ado, everyone, please give your attention to the tablet team. Hi, guys. Um, I posted out on Twitter that I was really nervous, and I was just going to pretend that you guys were all preschoolers. And I'm like this close to making you sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are the tablet team, and as you can see, we've branded ourselves as the traveling tablet tour for Illinois Libraries. Um, I'm Rachel Dapke, and these are my teammates, Shauna, Cheryl, Lynn, and Salva. <laughs> And so I'm going to start with one of the most important things we had to do. We had to come together as a team. Um, we came to Springfield in March not knowing each other. We were formed through a listserv posting by Lynn that I responded to, and we went back and forth with so many teammates. Um, and then we also had some individual iLead applicants as well. Um, and I can only speak for myself, but I know my teammates agree that this made us a little worried about how successful our project could be if we didn't even have any idea of you know who each other was. Um, but it turns out that we shouldn't have been worried at all because we each bring different experiences and perspectives and it only makes us stronger. Um, in March, we first had to get to know each other on top of figuring out where our project was going and what our next steps were. And I'm gonna mention Beck here too and I think maybe we can just give her a round of applause because she has been... <laughs> Um, our time with her was really invaluable. She was instrumental in leading us in a moving direction, and our team like literally took a sigh of relief when we walked out of there that first time. Um, we finally felt like, okay, this, this could work. Um, it seems like ages ago we submitted our application where we proposed to provide libraries with a traveling set of iPads as well as suggested uses for the apps that are included on the iPads for educational and fun children's programs. So why do we think a project like this has relevance, and why do we think it will be successful? Well, with increasing importance of technology, um, so too does the importance of us as librarians to offer our community the opportunity to become familiar with the 21st century tools. But not just our community, but also our, our fellow library professionals. Um, and by offering the iPads preloaded with apps, we're allowing our um, fellow librarians to create experiences with their users and making it that much more simpler for them to make an impact. So to make this happen, we had to have some team goals. And these were to expose us to new technologies and provide access to these technologies to other libraries in Illinois, to learn about new apps and how to program events and opportunities with them, taking into consideration the context, purpose, and audience, to use our knowledge to provide ideas for the librarians on how to use what they have been given, and to include foreign language materials. So has what we set out to do all these months ago changed? This is our mission now. It's to provide Illinois librarians the opportunity to borrow a set of iPads for use in children's, family, and teen programming, and to establish a forum for resource sharing. So our original concept didn't really change, and it unfailingly led us to where we are today. And we're now ready to share the traveling tablet tour with everyone. And Sean is going to talk a little bit about how we're going to make that happen. Hi, guys. <laughs> so a big part of, of our next steps, once we figured out what this project is actually going to look like, is to take all of our values and ideas. You know, there's big concepts about, you know, we want to support librarians. We want to provide access to technology. We want to... Um, share resources, but also like go beyond that and share experiences um, with other people. Um, and how to translate that into some concrete procedures. Um, how is this gonna work the most effective way possible? Um, how can we make use of existing infrastructure or um, networks? Um, what will give our users the best experience? And what will be manageable for our teams outside of our you know, regular jobs? Um, so the first thing that we did um, for the tour to work, we needed to create a dialogue for potential users. So we created a website to act as a conduit of information between us and uh, potential libraries out there. Um, we created a request system on that website using Google Forms. Um, 
and when a potential library comes to our site, fills out the form, we get an automatic notification, um, and we find a way to add them to the schedule. Um, we have designated team members who will um, sort of be the concierge for the libraries um, and finalize the details with the partner library um, through scheduling, um, figuring out an agreement um, about how things are going to work to set up some baseline expectations, and to provide a little bit of support um, in how to use our website to best meet the needs of, of what they want to accomplish by using the tablets. So the partner library fills out the agreement form, sends it back to us, and they wait um, for their turn to, to join the tour. <coughs> About a week before um, the tablets are going to come to them, a reminder is going to go out to two places. two places. It's going to go out to the current library who's using the iPads. Um, and they are going to get some information about where the tablets are going next. And the next library will get some critical information about um, our gonna expectations, some more updates on you know, how the iPads have been doing, what they've been used for, um, and just reminders about, about what we want to happen. Then the, the tablets finally arrive um, via the Rails delivery service. And Lynn's down there. She's got um, the kit with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to stay in the library for four weeks. They've got some comfy cases, some accessories, um, HDMI, VGA, <laughs> locks, speakers, um, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn, making you run. Um, yeah, and, and just um, full of physical resources um, to create experiences for patrons. And we expect them to stay in the library at all times um, and to be used with librarians. Um, yeah, and just program, program, program. Um, before they come back to us, or after the four weeks, um, they'll get the same reminder with the closing procedures um, to help it make a smooth transition for the next library that's coming in the tour. Um, so close out the tabs, check to make sure all the accessories are in there, um, fill out a survey. So we're expecting the libraries that participate in this to support us in you know, our own research. Like we're doing an experiment here and so we um, want to be good scientists and collect as much data as we can to help us make better decisions about how we use mobile technology to support patrons and what kind of experiences people want to have with technology. Um, and in addition, we. Um, Libraries can decide how they want to deal with the patron creations that are left on the iPads. This came up in one of our sessions with Beck, the idea of, of kind of leaving those um, breadcrumbs, I guess, of, of what's happened on the iPads in the past, sort of like writing in the margins of a book. Um, it can be a really exciting way for us to collect data and also like celebrate what everyone's been able to do um, through the tour. Um, so then... Yeah, they'll ship it back out to the next library. And um, even if you don't have a chance to join the tour, we have a companion website, which Salva is going to talk to you more about, um, that'll help everyone kind of either recreate this in their libraries or um, act as a starting point for creating your own tablet experiences. Thank you. <coughs> also, uh, a very important part of all this uh, this workflow that uh, Shanna was telling you is the website. The website is going to help uh, the librarians to know what to do with the tablets when they arrive, and it can be even for more than just the librarians. Any person can access to the li to, to the website and see all the programs and how to work with them. So, first of all, uh, in the website creation, first we had to create a do uh, domain name, and we use this one. You already can go there. The the uh, website is on, and uh, you can you can see how it, how it works. Uh, we bought the, the domain for two years, and we hope that uh, we can do it in the future for more years, and that this is going to be up for, for a long time. Uh, we choose the basic elements of the web page that we wanted, like the beautiful logo that, that we did, uh, uh, the elite connection. Uh, we decided about the colors, uh, the font that we were going to use. Uh, for us, it was really important, the, the mission statement. And finally, as Shona was saying, the feedback. Capability. We really want to uh, collect data. It was one of the most important things for us to know how things are, are going. So I'm going to give you a little tour about the, the website, but uh, you, in any time, you can just go and, and check it out. So this is our website. Uh, we add the little video that we did in the beginning of, um, of our time here in Elite. 
So it gives a little idea as well to the librarians. And we just want the librarians to jump in. So we put it in the first, uh, in the homepage, attention librarians, uh, Illinois librarians just jumping in because we want you here. Uh, then we have this other page where you can request the tablet. You can go to a, to a calendar and see if the, the tablets are available or not. So you can have an idea about when and how to, to do it. And then you can get involved, as we say over there. You can uh, request the form or you can uh, request it. When, when, when you already request the form, you can see uh, uh, you have to sign our agreement form. And finally, if you hosted it, the tablets, we are really interested in all the information that you can provide us. So we have this last part. Finally, this is the most interesting part here is where we offer the information about all the apps that we're doing. We put it by age, yeah, category, and then uh, w you can go to any of them and click, and this is the information that you're going to find. It's information about uh, what what kind of I, um, what kind of app do you have there? Uh, it's a little description about uh, what it is, and then. I think that the most important part is like program idea, so you can know what to do with that. And you can use it in a library, but this is also useful for any person that have kids or uh, so I think that. Finally, you can go to learn more about the thing in, in iTunes. We have some other uh, screenshots and if it's free or not. And we are really interesting as well in the librarians and or anyone telling us, oh, I saw something very similar like this one that also I think that it can work. So we offer always, we, we are really interested in, in having a conversation and in know more about what's going on. This is Minecraft, everyone is talking about Minecraft, so we as well, you know, <laughs> decided to put that one. And uh, so even the ones that out there that you don't know what is Minecraft, you can have a, a little peek over here. And finally, we have here all the, uh, the questions, the comments, we again are, uh, waiting for the for, for the feedback is really really important for us, and f uh, now Lynn is going to talk with you about the f future of the, of the project. Actually, the future is already here. Um, earlier this month, we had the opportunity to have a poster session at ILA, and it was met with a really great response. Everyone who came by was very excited. <laughs> Not only that, about a week or two later, five libraries signed up and submitted their information, so they're ready to go. I think for us, the key word right now is, uh, for the future, is growth. Um, we see growth in both um, reaching out to the librarians, the children, and other users. Uh, through marketing, um, we're all involved with um, professional organizations here in Illinois already. We'll be using those and getting the word out. Also, we see growth in our website. I mean, apps are being invented all or being made all the time. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot that catch our eyes, and we're really hoping that the, the users and the people who are aware of this also have their ideas and request for us to be uh, load apps on that they are for them as well. Finally, with the website, we see a lot of growth with that. Um, for people to come by and say, yes, this is how I use this, or this was my experience with that. Um, here's some more ideas. You know, we're not the, the be-all, end-all. We would we really look forward to having a lot more ideas on, our, um, on the website as well. Uh, sure. I'm going to talk about the lessons we've learned. Yep. A few. Yeah. <laughs> As librarians, more and more, we need to share our resources and our ideas, and that helps us with time, and time is a big thing, time and resources. There's an interest for our project. We have an audience, like, duh, five requests winning. <laughs> There's an infrastructure in place. Uh, Russell Theobald from the East Peoria Hub of Rails Library has been gracious and kind in his conversations with me. They will deliver our iPads in that tub, just like they deliver the books. So this was very crucial to the product, yeah. project. And we know we need to be proactive. We can't sit back in our libraries and wait for the good things to come to us. We have to help ourselves and our other fellow librarians. As a team, we've learned that different experiences bring new perspectives. We all come from different, I'm rural, 
downstate rural small, small library. Um, Salva's from a Spanish institute in the heart of Chicago. Our other librarians are from um, suburban big libraries. We can, we can work together with the technology. We know it now. We had face-to-face -face meetings, but we also had Skype events and um, the Google documents and things like that. You can't know everything. The skills we each have kind of fell together in a group, and we fell into our roles. There was no squabbling or fighting. Um, there was, I mean, <laughs> well, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Well, I just heard a rumor, I don't know, but. <laughs> we have a fine leader, we have a t tech person. Well, probably all of you guys are tech people, but that's probably not me. And uh, we have facilitators, cheerleaders, um, information providers, we all did different roles and it worked wonderfully. As individuals, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you want that iPad frame? Fine with me. You know, we were flexible and kind and easy with each other. Um, it's worth it to jump out of your comfort zone. And I know from my experiences, that's where the big rewards always are, when you're a little nervous to do something. I lead was fun. I lead was great. I lead was challenging. We thank Tony Lucarelli, our fine mentor. Yay. We thank I Lead USA. We thank um, the Illinois State Library staff. We thank the University of Illinois at Springfield. We thank the cooks and, <laughs> and our fellow librarians here because that's what's made it a lot of fun too. So now, if you'd like to request our tablets, you can go to TravelingTabletsIllinois.com. And if you sign up within the next 24 hours, <laughs> you'll get these fine wipes to clean your iPad screens. <laughs> now we will invite questions. Salva can answer in Spanish. <laughs> Are, are, Brian, Brian. Brian. Brian has a question first. Are, are there plans to expand availability to libraries in Illinois Heartland Library System? We, you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're in Rails. We're all in Rails, and Rails is the northern half of the state. Of, I didn't mention that if anyone doesn't know. It's our delivery system. Well, not yet, because. Um, you, why don't you answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> I think the opportunity just hasn't presented itself like it did with Rails. Um, I think for sure we'd be yeah. open to it. We yeah. just don't know what those logistics yeah. will look like, but if anybody has connections, come and talk to yeah. us. <laughs> That's how that I know you. Know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Heather had a question. Yeah. Idea and a question. If you consider adding some Sphero apps to the tablets, people could borrow your tablet and, and the robot test kitchen Spheros and do Sphero talked about perhaps becoming in cohorts with you guys um, and we definitely want to take app requests like we were saying mm -hmm. um, it won't be like a constant thing to add them because they'll be you know out and about but yeah we definitely want to make sure that we're giving well they said they'd give them to us yeah so yeah. <laughs> I just had a comment I'm really happy to see that it's in a variety of libraries from the small rural library. Mm -hmm. Chanel Public is where I grew up. Mm -hmm. It's where I fell wow. in love wow. um, with libraries. I'm originally from <laughs> Chanel. So the fact that this is in the small libraries, it just it just goes. It yeah. just I love it. And I'm on the Rails board, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I don't know if this is a question for you guys or for MJ, but um, can then school libraries also, if they were connected with Rails, take advantage of the tablets? Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. if you can receive Rails deliveries, you can. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just go to your public.
collaborate. Part of our yeah. idea was too that this idea could be expanded on and other people do the same kind of thing and maybe even some vendors support us in some way mm -hmm. so that we can yeah. offer more than, we have six tablets actually now. For us the support of Rails was really, really important because if not we were planning yeah, to we spend a ton of money like in, you know, top Shipping. Top we sure. know we, so when we knew there was an infrastructure there and it was going to help us and make a huge difference for, for our project. Mm -hmm. I just, I wanted to comment that um, the, the State Library is, we support the, the delivery service for both the backbone delivery service and the intrust system delivery services. If that can go on the rails delivery circuit, it can go anywhere in the okay. state. Okay. There is no prohibition as long as the materials in the tub can be part of a library's collection they are, they can go on the delivery circuit. So, uh, you know, it, it can go north, south, east, and west. Um, no, okay. no problem there. I think that was the original part of the vision anyway. And then uh, as we started to wrap our heads around it, we just kind of thought, maybe they'll start small and then work back. Yep. Well, that's, baby steps are always good, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> But there's no no prohibition, so you guys are gold. Sounds like you yeah. just scaled up to a statewide project. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The iPads were between um, $350 and $400. We mm -hmm. have six. Mm -hmm. We have spent about $3,500 of our $4,000 so far. The rest of the money, we're just going to buy an Apple card in case sure. something happens or we need something. But so about $3,500 we spent. So say each one of those boxes is $700 roughly. So, okay. Each one of the little white boxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the white box? No, no, no it's sorry. not the tub. The tub. The tub. Ensemble. The whole ensemble is $3,500. I'd say $3,400 because we have a few publicity stuff right. in there. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but the whole, tub, the whole tub the whole is $3,400. Yeah. You get six iPads in it, right? Yeah. Oh, you know, oh. six. You guys talk about it. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't make that clear. No, I'm sorry I wasn't understanding. <laughs> How did you uh, secure the tablets? How are they so that when they come back they have everything on them that they started with? How did you lock them down or secure them so that nothing is missing when you get them back? Any information? I mean, there, there's a lot of accessibility features and security features on the iPads that you can set. I mean, and we're kind of depending on, like, you know, we have, I have iPads at my library right now, and it's never really been an issue of people taking things off. It's okay. more been an issue of, like, tweens coming in and thinking it's cute to, like, set a security code on the front of the iPad, so then you have to restore them. But, you know, they won't be able to download apps um, because we'll have a, them password protected. Um, so I really think that, you know, we're just depending on our fellow librarians to ensure that they're in good hands when we're with them. And they have to sign an agreement form where sure. they, you know, state that this is, you know, they'll follow these rules when they use the iPads. But if something happens to one, well then, you know, that's part of the experiment and part of figuring out what happens. We're going to use the cloud to lock them and do, do that thing, where is my iPad? Does yeah. that sound technical? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at this from a slightly different standpoint from marketing and PR. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be highly beneficial that you include a list of how to market this as digital literacy for those libraries that might not have an idea to contact their local newspaper, talk to their board, take it to the mayor's office or the city council and say, look what we have to play with. We'd like you to come to our library and experience it. That's a great idea. There's someone in the middle there. Yeah, there's someone in the middle there. In terms of security, is there a, and I apologize if I, if I miss this, is there a process for um, wiping any personal information, any photos that are taken on the that are stored on the device itself. 
So we we kind of wanted to like balance, I guess, the two things between like wiping it clean and making it a new experience for the next library, and still being able to like keep those. Um, experiences like to travel with the iPads. Um, so that's in our closing procedures as something that like the librarians as they're packing it up can do, but it's like a choice that each library is going to have to make. Okay. Yeah. Sure. For the other states that are here, you guys were the Match.com team this year. So. It's great that you guys did this. This is wonderful. I mean, you're definitely a team. There's no doubt about that. And would you, do you have any words of advice for our sister states about bringing together five people who have absolutely no familiarity with each other to work on this intense project? I think it's a great idea. Like, I will not put everyone like, I don't, I don't put everyone like that, but I think it's a good idea to bring at least one team that comes from different, because, you know, you have, it's a kind of different experience than the rest. The rest of the people, the librarians have been talking maybe for years before they start here. For us, it was like first day that we came here. We had this, we were driving together, which was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Some time to start to talk about, but we literally landed here and I didn't know anything like I, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to relate with these people. So for us, it took us a little longer to, to, to start. But then when we were in full speed, it was like really, really smoothly and really, really good. And uh, I also think that it's really great to open this opportunity. And I want to say thank you to librarians that are from different countries, like is my case, or they're over there as well. Because I think that, uh, for us, for me, it's been a gift to see how you guys are working in the United States and to sure. to uh, bring back to Spain and explain how, how, how what do you, you are doing here. Because it, you will be amazed at how similar the situation is in Spain and how the librarians are struggling with almost the same, same, same <laughs> stuff that you're doing here. Yeah. I would also to add that I'm a new librarian, this is my first year, and so being in a group with, um, like a very intensive group with people who have varying experiences in the library field has been absolutely invaluable to me. Um, and so I think for, you know, other states looking at it, considering new librarians as, um, as a piece of it is really mm -hmm. important. Especially having this camp here, getting the camp together for sure. a week, that really bonded us, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the experiences that Ivy gave us here together. And bacon. I was just going to say that. that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Way to jump the gun, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Way to ruin the, the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? I just, I just want to say, I mean, stand up. Stand oh, no, seat. I don't need to say that. I don't need to stand up. But I, great presentation, simple yep. idea, yep. very well designed. Your website is very clean. Yes. Very simple. Your ideas are clean. It, you know, <laughs> not to say that anybody else wasn't, but it was just like boom, 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 and yeah. we got the message real quick and easy. So well done. Cheers. Yep. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you.